Okay, if I am not mistaken, we should be live right about now. Greetings, ladies and ladies, to this year's Adepticon, Adepticon 2024. An Adepticon as important as it has never been before, because this year there won't be a Warhammer Fest. At least no physical one, as far as we know. I'm not quite sure if this mean also means that we won't get, you know, the usual reveal schedule that we had all these years prior. But if we don't, this means that today might be the most important day in terms of miniature reveals and information about the game pretty much all year round. So, I am again joined by my good friend and colleague Feinrich. Um, you can check out his channel, which is in the description, and comment on his newest video that he shall upload more, because now he has the, the, the time. And with that, with bullying my colleague, Steinrich, you are now live. Wait, 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 wait. Since when? Since Embr when? Since right now. Oh, wait everything, everything you say can and will be used against you. Oh, no. Okay. Question, why are you so green? Why am I so green? Literally, your lighting is really green today. Um, probably because, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. You don't know? Yeah, my camera, I, I ca unfortunately can't do much about my camera because it is a uh, very cheap webcam. I can't even yeah. make it like focus on anything. Today we just live in the matrix, apparently. You, your background is green, my background is green. Yep. Um, oh yeah, you're seriously, right. Seriously, this is weird. Like, even your, even your red armor has like a green tint. Yeah, it is, it is very green. I I don't know why. OBS just... You know what I think this is? Mm-hmm. Skaven Corruption. Oh, that would oh, be... Yeah, just... That would be oh. indeed great foreshadowing. All right. Yeah. Ooh. And I with just the... looked out of the window and there's a beautiful sunset. Maybe I should go outside. <laughs> don't you dare right now. <laughs> <laughs> One timing, that would be... Bye. All right, okay. <clears throat> and hence we're all now ready to rumble let's check out the previews of this year's adepticon let me quickly yes. twirl my mustache um should we start with the hope cast into ruin thing or with a with a adepticon preview uh, i i did the adepticon preview i clicked on that um i think i'm gonna look into hope cast into ruin first because it's kind of the biggest one here right what we get, go back to the main page and just click onto Hope Cast into Ruin. But don't we? We will get this anyway via this selection, won't oh. we? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Are you sure? I'm pretty oh, sure. Yes. Rice is already here. Good evening, mate. Good evening to you too. Yeah. Let me twirl my mustache a little bit more. Mm hmm. Wait. Let me. Let me check. Let me check real quick if you're right about that. Right. So there's a cinematic trailer. There's um. I'm not a fan of watching cinematic trailers on stream. New owls. Ooh, I can choose. War Mage of Sigma is reforging. Incredible new edition. English, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, both of them lead to the same thing. All right. Excellent. We're on the same page. Rice says Brill brilliant fucking stash. Well, Oh. thank you so much. Um, here's the thing. Yeah? I also agree that we shouldn't watch the cinematic trailer because it's 18 minutes long. No, oh. no, no, never mind. It's three minutes long or so. Okay. The rest is just people talking. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's better. That's our job today. And with this, with the first thing we will <clears> go <throat> over today will be Warhammer Age of Sigma, which is something I am very sorry for neglecting for so long on this channel. And uh, yeah, I solemnly swear to make it up to you this year. Maybe with some mm -hmm. new reveals. Let's have a look. Should we watch the trailer? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I would do it. Hang on then, let me stop the music, yeah. um, and I'm going to click onto it as well. I have no idea if it's Sigma lied. Um, I think my player is broken. Great. I'm going to watch a movie on YouTube for <laughs> God damn. Animation though. No, oh, I'm hanging behind. You fool! This is why I hate watching Charidas live! 
All right, okay. Rise okay. already screams my okay. ears. I'm I'm a good, I'm a do it at like twelve percent. I hope this is all right. Um, tell me if this sound is already too much. This is yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. Should we watch it from um, the beginning or do you want to jump right, in? Let's, on... No, let's go to twenty seconds. The twenty second mark. Twenty or... second. Yeah. All right. Three. Girl fighting beast man. Let's yeah. go. Three, two, one, go. go. Oh, it's a sun god. And she dead. Yeah, she's done for. Doesn't that mean she will become a strong castle turner now, like in the war? Yeah, probably. Because you fought against. Oh Kaios? look, it's Nagash. God oh. damn. Oh wow. All right, seeing Nagash be this big is pretty cool. <coughs> oh lol, okay. There she is. Oh. Oh, this is the whole reincarnation process. Yeah, that's cool to actually see that. Ooh, also, I just realized we went for every edition now. Yeah, yeah. Like, the second death was the Night Haunt, the oh, third right. death uh, the Cruel Boys. Yeah. I think the first death was probably against Corn People. Okay, now we'll see what... Uh... This girl was in every single starter edition box set, and she died every time. Now, we can, now we'll see which one is the new big evil guy of this edition. Yeah, I mean... Oh, let's go, it's a City of Sigma. If it isn't Skaven, I would be genuinely surprised, right? Oh shit, we, there's a lot of green. Oh, oh shit! Oh Skaven look! There's the Skaven the symbol! Mm -hmm. Let's go! It's the Ogre Kingdoms! <laughs> oh, this is fucking hype. What the f. Okay. It Maybe literally just came thing. from the ground. This would explain the box art for Warhammer uh, Battle of the Blood Island. Oh, you mean like there's just. Shit in the background. Yeah. Coming out of nowhere. Yeah. True. Oh, let's fucking go. It's the. Um, it's in, the Stormcast Eternals. Yeah. They, this trailer makes them actually look kind of cool. I'm impressed. Yeah. They they didn't go with the all gold design, which I really appreciate. True. Now, but also like showing them at first without the helmet to show like, oh, they're reincarnated yeah. from like people. They really are just people. Yeah. Them. That is interesting. Ooh, new snipers. Please, yeah, please. You snipers, please let's make, go. <laughs> please rework the jazz. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. That's cool. That's oh. cool. In the oh. Neck. oh, shit. A, a rat, is that a rattling gun or is that. New a, weaponry. I think that's just a rattling gun, though. But it's on a Doom player, is it not? Yeah, the uh, thing. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's okay. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. God damn. The Skaven are kind of chumps in this, but I mean, they're Skaven, right? Yeah. Basically. It works out. Sigmar Ooh. lied. He never told us the true cost of this honor. Ooh. Oh. Soon, all that will remain of me is an echo, lost to the storm. But so, but until that day. I fight. So this Sigma Light isn't actually about the scale, and it is about the fact that Strong Cast Eternals lose their personality and soul every time they die. Yeah. Interesting. So like, right. we, we knew this uh, out of uh, the world, but in universe, yeah. Damn, what a great trailer. Holy shit. I kind of get why um, Sigma wouldn't tell the Strong Cast Eternals. By the way, don't die, lol. <laughs> right? Like, I mean, yeah, I really would like this. This is it. this is probably the best introduction to the uh, Warhammer Age of Sigma verse uh, I've ever seen, and it only took for them like what eight years to come up with that. Oh yeah, I mean, um, I think I prefer the 40k trailer where they fight against the Tyranids. I mean, because I think it had a bit more grit to it, a bit more edge. Yeah. Um, but that being said, this one had more background story for like Stormcast Eternals. It had yeah. more lore in a way, which is really cool. I really like that they how how they humanized the Stormcast Eternals and uh, like I'm not that familiar with Age of Sigma trailers, but um, to me the Stormcast Eternals have just always been like random husks, like uh, clone yeah. troopers or battle droids. But uh, this is really well. And again, I really appreciate uh, you know the choice of armor they went with. For this trailer and not just the all golden golden yeah. boys. Uh, let's see if that actually sticks to the to the finalized 
miniature yeah. tooth. Uh, I also really like that we can see like how fucking huge Nagash is. Here, yeah. Okay? Nagash is. Yeah. That was that was a great shot. Um, the way she he he uh, he is prepared to take her soul to strengthen himself, like the yeah. true god of death, and then Sigma comes in and snatches her from her, from him. That that was great. Hold on, let me let me check something. A billion um, strong because... tsunami of fur and teeth and malice is bowl boiling up through Akish. No, I want to check something and first. Beyond. Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Um, they did show the cities of Sigma in the trailer, right? Yeah, they did. They did. Like they did show the people there. Or oh, do you want to see if it's just humans? Um, no, I just wanted to see what the models were. But yeah, I it's, think they, okay. They copied. Uh, they copy and paste the same model, a soldier three times. Yeah, yeah. It's, they only uh, have one cities of Sigma yeah, yeah. soldier three models. They they, they only it. they only showcase. Oh yeah, it straight up is. Yeah. The same story. I which mean, I'm, fair enough. Which I'm okay with yeah. because I only saw it because I explicitly double checked. Because if that hadn't been the case, frankly, I would have thought they're gonna reuse this for something else, right? Yeah. No way where they're gonna create a bunch of Age of Sigma 3D models and only to not reuse them. But I you know they did it already. I think I think it's uh, nice that they showed uh, you know the new militia in this. Uh, yeah. trailer as well and uh, the way that the cities are kind of you know set up um and uh what, what i was looking for is if there were you know just humans in the militia or if there were other races as well because that would have mm -hmm. been fucking hype but no okay fair enough i mean another thing i noticed about this trailer is um once again like like age of sigma has a significantly more hopeful look to it than 40k right yeah and this trailer shows that again, because once again, we kind of see the Storm Cassie Eternals doing a good job at fighting back the Horde. Oh, yeah. They're sort of winning. They're we not really we struggling. See when, we see that when they die, they pay a price, they lose a part of themselves, but it ends with her saying, until that day comes, I will fight. And the Storm Cassie Eternals are actually kind of portrayed as the, the glorious winners in this trailer, in yeah. a way, who just have to pay a terrible price for the deaths. Yeah. In the 40k trailer, the Space Marines straight up got shredded, right? Yeah. They got ripped apart. They got eaten. In the end, Gilliman got depression. Yeah. So they're, they're, they are having a relatively easy time, you know, chewing through the Skaven. But uh, then again, it's Skaven. <laughs> yeah. I the the one thing that I was really that I was really hyped about was to see that they apparently are reworking the Jezail. So we have not seen a singular miniature yet, but uh, this to me is uh, a great indicator of hopefully, hopefully a new version of these the Jezail, goddamn context, tin models. For context, the Jezail has our go-to, we make fun of Warhammer models. Um, yeah. It has been our go-to miniature to make fun of for the last two years or so. Because if we go to um, to the store, give me a second. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna search them up and as we well. Look up the, the, oh my god, the, they got the, even the, more expensive? Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, th th those are the old uh, Jezails. Right now, a single rattling gun warp and warp grinder, and I think a Jezail is 15 bucks. Yeah, but three Jezails is 50 bucks. And they're like 30 years old, the miniatures, yeah. right? Th these are literally tin models. Like, yeah. This is insane. So I really hope, I really hope that we will today see them reworked. Yeah. But um, it has been our, this has been our laughing stock for so long. And yeah, now they're for, finally getting to blow up. For A, very old miniatures and B, ridiculous Ooh. pricing. So let's go. The story so far, hope cast into ruin. Very nice, you know, artwork as usual. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. Also yeah. one... One thing that I wanted to mention as well, you know, from the visuals themselves, they are coming a lot of, you know, a lot closer to the kind of 40k, um, you know, aesthetic theme, whatever really? you would call it. I don't know if I agree. I mean, it's a darker trailer and it's very green, but... I think, but I think in general, if I, like, try to remember visuals from Age of Sigma, it always has <clears throat> been kind of dark. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen more hopeful... Uh, official artwork and official trailers from 
40k than I've seen Age of Sigma, but maybe that's just a misconception. Did, did we see the Crew Boys trailer when that came out? No, we didn't. I think the Crew Boys only got like a short teaser, didn't they? Ah, like okay. about this, uh, the poem. They got the poem. Yeah. True. I think like um, the ne no the Necron. I think the trailer Space Marines versus Necrons was like the first big cinematic trailer Warhammer did. Yep. <clears throat> and then right. that was so successful and people loved it yeah. so much that they decided, okay, we're gonna do gotta do this for every edition. I think it's still kind of funny that the uh, you know animation, the quality of animation that everybody gets is better than the quality of animation that people pay for on Warhammer Plus. But uh, uh, that's, a, that's a whole different kind of jar that I, I mean, don't want to open just yet. it's a three-minute cinematic trailer, and the other thing is like a one-hour-long series. So. But, you know, mm -hmm. they, they, it is paid for, right? So Yeah. Still, that's a huge difference, whether you have to animate three minutes or you have to animate 60 minutes or something. Again, I, you know, I still stand by it, yeah. yeah. Imagine if the quality right. of, the, of the average Super Bowl ad had better cinematics than Marvel. I mean, nowadays it kind of does, but you know what I mean. All right, let me... After a long period, seemingly at the periphery of the action, the Skaven have returned with a radicalismic bang. Ooh. The re realms have gotten too used to a world where vermin can kept to the shadows and the consequences are dire. This is probably also referring to the tournament scene. Um, all that skulking around was sp time spent plotting. Of the course. vermin doom. Oh, okay. Blossoming much of the footed sub realm foot footed footed so fetus okay. thingy uh sub realm okay. of blight city directly into the realm of fire Bro, opening up festering as rents a, as a death guard player can you please stop using voted and blight in every second sentence when it comes to death guard and scaven well, workshop writers there's different words have, you can use who would have thought that the one animal uh you know connotated with plagues and diseases has a lot mm. of descriptors for plagues and diseases in their lore, I mean, but yeah, uh, okay. yeah, okay, okay, right. The game, <clears throat> let's go. We want to see models. Like a deal with Arkham himself. Ascended. Oh fuck! Wait, 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 wait. The Great Horn Red ascended as a full fifth member of the Chaos Pantheon. Oh shit! Completely overlooked that. That is um somewhat to the chagrin of the East Earthwild Four. I mean, of course, but this is a kind of a big deal, right? And that's yeah. Also, once again, I feel like this kind of disproves all the for oh. Warhammer for, uh, fantasy. Warhammer for Age of Sigma just take place in 40k on like a single planet. This yeah, kind of disproves that, right? <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, for Age of Sigma, we already knew that kind of to be the case. Yeah. But yeah, this is basically the ending of uh, Warhammer Total War 2 if you play the Skaven and then oh, shit, you know right. get your uh, get the realm under your control. Okay, the the Maelstrom. But now, finally, let's let's have a look at the. I ain't reading all that. I want to see some miniatures. Right, the game. bring the oh, great one red to forty k. That, that's 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 Zangors versus Cities of Sigma. I feel like that doesn't have anything to do with this. Yeah, <coughs> Rice said uh, we we should have space Skaven. We should have the great one red in forty k. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. Like. I feel like that will just be Turinids 2.0 in a way, right? Is there anything? We can choose a side. What? What is this? What? Tune what in mean? over the coming months to learn more about the changes coming to Warhammer Age of Sigma and see all the new miniatures. And, and choose your allegiance by oh. signing up. Oh. oh, they just they just separated the new reveals for miniatures into two separate. No, what? Oh, never mind. They didn't reveal the miniatures yet. Is this some kind of um, what they did with uh, Tyranids versus Space Marines, the thing? Where you had to vote uh, for whichever side should win the battle on these trailer thingy? I don't know, actually. And honestly, I don't know which side I would choose. Um, it looks like they didn't actually... They don't actually show any new miniatures for Skaven. They just show the trailer. Okay, hang on. Let us, let us go to the next... Um, Thing then because that would be massively disappointing but it is disappointing but i think it's fine it's not fine i'm, I'm done with games workshop beating around the bush for this kind of stuff uh, true all right so um so no yeah, but clicking on stormcast turns or scaven doesn't do anything so all right uh, 
In that case, I would choose Stormcast because I would not choose the side of... I'll choose the side of whoever has newer miniatures on the market, and for now Ooh. it's so Stormcast. <laughs> Get wrecked. Well, then I'm gonna pick Skaven. I mean, what? hey, you already it have Storm... Ah, but you also do have already Skaven. I already have Skaven. Again, like, what is with, with Games Workshop and beating around the bush when it comes to these goddamn miniature reveals? Like, you, you set a date where you say, hey guys, this is where we will reveal most of our new miniatures for the coming, like, weeks and months. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, you know, just joking. Here's a trailer, which is very cool. But the actual miniatures are going to reveal in the coming weeks. And you, why? I mean, I think at some point they just figured economically it is better to review miniatures one, like one miniature every week than to really uh, reveal four miniatures once a month. I mean, I get, yeah, right? I, I because get it. But engagement to their stores higher. In that case, like, you, you can, like, why even bother with the preview days and stuff? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Let's have a preview where we won't reveal the new miniatures we're talking about. And hi, Emma. Um, Great to have you. Something here. I'm also seeing here, they are like in 40k, where they have a whole mode around, what's it called? Battle Forces? Or, yeah. I was um, assuming, they, yeah. Yeah, they're doing that for Age of Sigma 2 now. I mean, so. that that's, I mean, that's expected. Can we see the Skaven War host in here? Huh? Maybe we can already have a glimpse at some new miniatures if they so sh no, no, show no, no. the There's Skaven. There's no board. pictures of Skaven at all, okay. which is, eh. Bruh. I mean, fair enough. And it would so be those funny are the if they showed for outdated spearhead books for the Skaven. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Whatever. Let's go Honestly, to the... I kind of I kind of get it, because like for all the reveals that we're gonna show off, like all the miniatures, that's gonna be a lot, right? It's going to be like 50 miniatures at least. They have to show up. Hopefully. Um, they're probably saving that for later, I guess. I want to see uh, what happens to the Skaven in uh, the Old World, though. If they're going to keep the old miniatures for Old World, or if they also, you know, rebooting the same miniatures for that board game as well. Oh shit, I don't know. Yep, I guess we'll like, see. Are they huh? going to sell? Oh, you, know, you know what would be funny? Today will be an old world reveal. Wouldn't it be funny if they re revealed uh, Skaven for the old no, world, but I not already, Sigma? I already got a, a saw of a spoiler for what the old world reveal is. Why would you spoil it for me, though? I saw it on your YouTube thumbnail, okay? I, not my fault. What? You saw it on my YouTube thumbnail? Oh, okay. Not on a YouTube thumbnail, just in general. But why would you tell me that right now? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, hun. Dawnbringers, Book 6, Hounds of Chaos. Before the realms slide into the throes of a new edition, there's still another story to be told in the annals of the embattled Twin-Tailed Crusade. The end of the Dawnbringer Crusades is nigh. Let's... Both kinds of Twin-Tailed Crusade have raised the cities against all odds. Blah 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 blah. We have a new Chaos miniature and ooh shit. Alright. I like him. All right, let's have a look at the. I'm gonna have a look at the. No, don't play at full volume, please. Okay, I'm actually turned down the mu music as completely. All right. I mean. So we will have a new Chaos Lord. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised you're watching the trailer for that one. <laughs> but... Yeah. Just. Oh, hang on. Is it three minutes long? Yeah, because it's the oh, wow. developers talking about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. In that case, yeah, let's just have a look at the miniature. Damn. Kinda... I don't know. You don't like him? I like him, but I'm not... I have to see some more details before I... Okay. Before I say anything. What just happened? Oh, okay, never mind. I opened up my drawing software. Right. So I can already start preparing my oh, possible tier list. Tier list. Yeah. yeah. And it kind of darkened my screen for a bit, but it's back. I'll do this. Oh, it's... Wait, it's a... Oh. Oh, Emma, this is not Emma a generic says... generic lord. This is a named character. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. that's what I figured as well. He's Dark Oath. Dark it's Oath dark, and yeah. Bloodhound. Now it's Abraxia. Isn't that like a YouTuber? 
Ataraxia <laughs> paint or something? Yeah, yeah, Ataraxia. Uh, uh, no. The the lady I did the um, challenge with two years ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, I I like this lizard thing. I think I just I just like chaos monsters. I like lizard monsters. Definitely. I like going... the, the armor plating style. It's very chaosy. Yeah. Also nicely done with all of the leather straps, so quite grounded mm -hmm. in reality for once. Yeah. Emma already base. says in the chat that her friend uh, is excited to get her. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, nice. Yeah. The the theme of Emma, Emma and her friends choosing the newest and most exciting models to paint uh, continues. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. That being One said, you know, the paint job is, is big... again immaculate. Like the effect on the shield, very nice. When characters in Age of Sigma fight, do like they like face to the opponent with a front or with their side? Uh, that would, that's probably a bit weird on the tabletop specifically, but eh. I guess with this miniature it would be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of irre irrelevant, I guess, because yeah, it, they don't have the uh, angles as in fantasy. They have like the reach of their weapons, so I guess it's irrelevant. Mm hmm. So you can pick and choose, I guess. But that's not all of it. There is more. Meanwhile, Rice is painting a second edition Tech Marine. Ooh. All right. Shit. Second edition. Second edition, yeah. All right. So Dark Oath looks nice. I'm not. I'm not too in awe, but uh, yeah. Very, I do like the second thing on this page a lot, though. So which is which is the it's terrain cool, piece? Um, yeah, terrain piece. Mm -hmm. I have recently like read uh, someone say basically like one of the coolest thing about Age of Sigma is actually the fact that each faction has like their own terrain piece. And, yeah. Forty like, yeah. K really lacks that. Yeah. And I think terrain pieces like this kind of show um, why, right? Because I don't know, this is just a cool a Nexus Chaotica. It's it's counting neat. of like Nexus. So this is a dark shrine on a geomantic convergence. Mm. Oh, interesting. They can effectively oh, no, spike key lines with demonic power and corrupt the realms themselves. So yeah, again, something that has actually an impact yeah. on the battlefield. Wow, this thing looks a lot bigger from the top than it looked from. Uh, I know, right? The front. Oh God, damn. Okay. Uh, that's what that's what I kind of noticed about it too. Like from the top, from the front, it kind of looks like a fence or something. Yeah. But from the top, ooh. okay. This thing. So th yeah, this is this is kind of the same situation we had with the uh, seismic drill for um, <laughs> for the uh, gene sealer cults. So yeah, mm -hmm. it is it is probably a lot bigger than I'm currently imagining. Yeah. All with the maw as well. I scrolled through a chat where I showed you the size comparison to a human hand. For the mall, <laughs> and I remember like, oh yeah, okay, this thing is huge. Okay, <laughs> yeah, the terrain is. Huh. I don't know, I like it, but you know, it's not that much so far. Yeah, so we have two things so far. Um. Uh. You said that Warmer Fest won't be this year. Yep, it has been officially cancelled. Um, uh -huh. I there was a whole song and dance in the news that I'm getting about it. Oh, that's a, that's a shame, actually. Hmm. So yeah, uh, they won't. Sure what's up with that? I, the one thing I'm wondering though is if the Warhammer Fest, if they mean the um, entire like the physical event or the uh, previews as well. So if they won't have like a week where they show off new previews and news, or if they, yeah. you know, again, just cancel the physical event, because. In that case, whatever. But if there's also no previews, that would be kind of that would kind of suck. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. So something neat, but for now, nothing jaw dropping so far. The next one is kind of exciting, though. Oh, let's go! Hey, hey old dwarf. dwarves for the old world. I, it's dwarves. I spent the entire day designing dwarves for character design uh, for my character Ooh. design uh, tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. All right. No sooner ah. have the orc and goblin goblin tribes reared their nasty head across the old world 
Wait, then do have? their ancestral enemies emerge? Yeah, they have been revealed, right? So they haven't been. Oh. They're not for sale right now, but they have but been. Did they also get like a new miniature or? Uh, not that I know of. No. Oh. Maybe, maybe we'll figure wow. out. But yeah, so uh, yeah, we're getting dwarfs. Let's go. I mean, the box is mostly models that I already have, yes. so that one would pointless for me to get. But we do get finally, finally. It took you a long fucking time. Oh. But we can finally get like a somewhat affordable uh, vein on shield bearers. Oh. Where? Like dwarf kings on oh. shield. Oh, wow. But they did up the details with this one. I know, right? Whoa. Like every strand of hair. <laughs> Holy shit. Remember <laughs> when visible. we remember when we talked about the uh, 3D printed uh, thing that you have? Yeah. That I just found the X <laughs> again? Um. Mm. And we were like, wow, okay, this is the level that 3D printing is, you know, able to do. Uh, wow, GW is really lacking and falling behind. And you now this... Personally. And now this guy is coming up. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. I also like how they, how they, you know, gave him a third shield bearer. Because they were mm -hmm. like, okay, two, two guys is kind of like, with physics, it's too wobbly. But... But now they have like, and and the guy at the rear is also carrying it with both hands. So yeah, it is a bit annoying though because um, I think in the original Warhammer Fantasy Tabletop, mm -hmm. the dwarf thing with shield bearers was just two miniatures tall. Yeah, uh, no, two miniatures big, and now he's four miniatures big. I mean, we also deal with bigger base sizes in the new like old world. Yeah. So maybe it's still like two miniatures. But then. All right. Goodbye, guys. By the way. Oh yeah, okay. Rice, uh, have a nice evening. And uh, yeah, have fun painting. See ya. Okay, this Wait, but... this vein, as much as I don't care about dwarves, or used yeah. to care not uh, used to not care about dwarves, this looks sick. I'm glad that I finally like introduced hold on. Let me go to eBay real quick. Alright. And look at dwarf. Um, Thane Dwarf King. King. Not Dwarf King. Not sure King oh, he also has. Oh, look at this! Do we get. Okay. Uh, we... Damn! <laughs> Alright, right now it's either you buy something 3D printed or you have to spend 100 bucks. Yeah. Straight up. 100 bucks for basically what? Three miniatures. Yeah. The King and two Shield Bearers. And I like the way he looks, admittedly. Like, yeah. I like the way his Shield Bearers have a very classic look. Yeah. Um, he he also has King like Asian he also has his own small book of crutches with him. At least that's what I get from the miniature, like the right shield bearer. What? Yeah, he's carrying a book. One of one of the guys is carrying a huge book on his. Oh shoulder. yeah, you're right. That is a book. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> sick. Let's fucking go. And the other one is carrying a barrel with a uh, with a trink uh, tankard on it. So oh, I guess yeah, yeah, their own supply of ale as well. That's badass. I'm wondering if that has any implications for what he was able to do in the, uh, mm. on the battlefield. In my opinion, they actually should make like a, we should give a, like a, a grudge marker his own miniature with his own rules, oh, right? Like, yeah. give a dwarves a, a character model, which can mark grudges during the fight, and like give miniatures hatred or something. Oh, that would be cool. Um, I really like this. Uh, oh wow, he has a pistol on his side as well. The king. What? Whoa! Yeah, a huge, a huge one. Wow. This one, this one, this, he really has everything. He, this miniature gets better and better. What the fuck? <laughs> Emma says that looks sick. Gotta bring the ale to the function. Hell yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Like, uh, honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get a dwarf king on sheet bearer, even if they did announce one. Yeah. Because I do already have a 3D printed one, but this one's pretty Dude, cool. I might get this guy. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, your birthday is hey, coming I up, mean, right? <laughs> if I did get it, I would have three separate different kinds of drawers on shield. <laughs> yeah, right. You've got... That uh, would actually make for an interesting video. Right? God damn. And the one on the rear also has like his own little barrel with a tankard. Nice. I mean, of course, if you're a shield bearer and your only yeah. job is to carry this dude around, you better have enough to drink, right? Like, Especially in these thick in, armors. In terms of design, yes. you know, spending the entire day designing dwarves uh, today, mm -hmm. um, I really like all the lessons that I took for des uh, from designing dwarves today are shown here, which I find is oh. kind of hilarious. Uh, because, because um, 
you know, I remember I realized that to not make a dwarf look like just a, a smaller person, like an adult, for example, male scaled down, you have to basically uh, cut out the neck and set the ho uh, the um, head basically right on their shoulders. Uh, to make them look uh. even more compact, which we can nicely see with the king. So they don't here. have like a neck. Yeah, and then you take even more away from that by giving him them basically space marine armor, in the in the sense that their shoulders are even more Ooh. accentuated. And this you can see as well with the That's true. for a cloak. They have knight proportions, like forty yeah. k knight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically they do. Yeah. And then, That's you know, so, uh, with some designs, they try to go even more up in height by giving them, like, either massive spiked hair or just a nice spiked helmet. And, you know, all of this can be seen here, which is neat. Mm -hmm. Neat. Very cool. And there's more draws, actually. Like, if we go further down. Oh, let's we get... go. Oh, no! Uh, <gasps> Hang on. Huh? What? Okay. The, the, okay, okay, we're good. The king comes in plastic, but this miniature yeah. comes in Forge World Resin. Uh, hold on. Four totally new miniatures. The first two... ...come in plastic. Okay, ooh. Right. Um, why are the Forge World miniatures so small, though? <laughs> Give us bigger previews for them. Alright, let's talk about the second one. Oh, yeah. It's another dwarf. It's another good dwarf. He has massive horns. Why would you... Oof. Hang on, so the one with shield and axe comes in plastic, but the other two come in Forge World resin? I think the one with, yeah, the one with like the dragon scales on his back, uh, back is plastic, and the small, two small ones, the Slayer and the Gun Guy, Bruh. they are Forge World. I mean... Which, uh, sure, you know what, fair, whatever, fine, fair enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. They... As, they, long as, they... the, as long as the king on shield isn't, isn't Forge World resin, yeah. I'm happy. I guess. Right, I really, really like the dwarf with a big gun. Like, that's just sick, okay? A dwarf, like, king with a big gun and, like, a pipe in his hand. This dude has so much swagger. Yeah. Another thing that I'm noticing about the new armor design or the reworked armor design, yeah. um, and you may correct me on this one because I'm not that familiar with dwarf miniatures, but um, the color he's wearing, for example, the collar, um, yeah. It's made of these, you know, armor plates, the square armor plates. Yeah. Which I think, uh, you know, is neat because it's uh, something different than just the usual chain mail right. these guys are wearing or plate True. mail for that. So this is basically the, dwarven scale mail, which... And nice. the king before it, the dragon scale king, also has the same kind of scale mail. Yeah, the the, the king on um, uh, that, get, that gets carried has like a skirt made of this yeah. material. So I uh, just noticed... Yeah. The gun dwarf is also like on his oath stone. Yeah. Which is a funny visual because like once a dwarf puts down an oath stone, he can't move anymore, right? <laughs> so it makes sense if you have a huge gun. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, the opponent doesn't want to get closer to me to duel me. Well, I'm just, just going to shoot him with this. Yeah. I'm going to leave a football platform. sized hole in his chest. I wish I could see his back though. Like, oh, yeah, he's clearly something on his back. Maybe a massive axe. I think this it looks is a like nice an axe. axe. Yeah. But I can't see it, which yeah. is disappointing. Kinda sad, yeah. The pipe is also nicely done. The pipe is a another dwarven face. If you look at it. I don't see the face exactly. Yeah, the, the, the face is basically facing away from the uh from like oh. the face is facing to the left. And so you have mm. like an eye here, here's the helmet, and then the the uh, moustache is curling all the way down around. Okay. Which is at least I how I see I, the pipe. I don't know if I see that, but hey, maybe right. you're right. I don't really care about the Slayer, bro. He's a bit too... I, mean, I don't know, the Slayer looks like a miniature that released in like 2006, okay? I mean, for that, the, the uh, you know, the finesse of the details is too, you know, well done. But oh, um, I, think, I think it's kind of fun how they, you know, go the... Like, they really own the um what should i call it the retro look so mm -hmm. the guy with like shield and axe has these massive gemstones on his shoulders uh yeah. the the slayer has ridiculously <clears throat> huge axe which is like very rounded and stuff true that, that is an enormous axe yeah so they that really axe is bigger than his torso they, like, they, 
I think the the thing that makes them look uh, the part is the fact that they do look like the artwork that came out during the mm. old world times, during War of Fantasy VI sense, edition. Yeah. yeah. You know what, with Dwarf Slayer, one thing I like about him, like, Dwarf Slayer Kings have, like, the heroic death blow rule, right? Yeah. In that they can instant kill everything. Yeah, this guy looks like he could instant kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I could see this guy decapitate a Sphinx with a single strike. I oh. could absolutely see him do that. One thing, though, uh, he is wearing quite a lot of armor for a Slayer, is he not? Yeah, but I think that's relatively normal for us. Uh, oh, I have my rule book right here. Yep, okay, have a look. Let me get... Like, this guy is clearly a king, right? This guy is not just a normal dragon oh, yeah. slayer. So this is oh, a actually, thane, yeah, right? Is, uh, I think it's a demon slayer. Or yeah. dragon slayer. Th yeah. those, are, those are thanes. Yeah, this is a Possibly. demon slayer. And demon slayers... Huh, no, you're right. They don't wear any armor. I mean, like, for example, That's the helmet, I was like, okay, fair enough, this guy is a Thane. And then I looked at his gauntlets, and I was like, okay, fair enough, maybe you can excuse that. But then he's literally wearing uh, steel boots and a chainmail skirt. Yeah, which, and... Yeah, it's quite like a lot of armor. players in fantasy never wore armor. Now that I, think I mean, that one it, guy yeah. that you have is literally butt naked, so... Yeah, the, on the only yeah. exception is Ungrim Iron. Is this Ungrim? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, no, the tape. Oh, stupid. shit! The tape that literally says that it's oh, Ungrim. Oh, bruh! <laughs> because I was like, okay, yeah, Angrim Iron Fist is the only one that I know of that wears, wears armor. <laughs> okay. Reading comprehension. Fair, zero. fair enough, fair enough. I I've, 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 I've take back everything I said, bruh. I may do have Beaver Stupid. Okay, that's yeah. Ungrim. All right. <laughs> yep, that checks out for Angrim. Yep. I don't know if Angrim ever had a... Hold on, let me Google him. Did he already have a miniature, or is this like his first one? Oh. He already did have one, but it's very old, and he has like one of those old timey banners on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's that's cute. All yeah. right. Yeah, he kind of needed an update, huh? <laughs> he, he definitely kind of. But, but if you look at his axe, for example... Um... You know, the design on the axe is also very well modernized. Yeah. Of that. So, yeah, great job. Damn. Not like it was ever bad, bad, but yeah. All right, we now, also get plastic. Ooh, even we got a room more dwarves. Let's we get a room fucking we get go. Dwarves. We I, get scanners. They have to know that a lot of people don't like the Forge World resin, right? Because they wouldn't po yeah. put. Uh, Returning in plastic as a seal of approval down. Now, you, now you see, that wasn't Games Workshop, that was for dwarves. It was for like, uh, Forge World Resin is like <laughs> new. Yeah, probably. And so, and so they invented a stamp that says, no, fuck you. Our <laughs> miniatures yeah. are cast in plastic, like all should be. I would be, I will go, I will go insane if most of the high elf roster should be resin, but I hope, I hope <laughs> not. I just don't have taste. The Inquisitor Ooh. approves of Angrim, of old Angrim and j the dwarves in general. All right. Mm. Four, four purity seals on the back <laughs> of old Angrim. So, nice. uh, what is this guy? I don't, I don't know much about the lore. That is a rune priest, a basic one. Oh, all right. So this guy can. Um, I think if you put him in a in a unit, he gives them armor piercing and he gives them more resistance against magic or something. And I'm just noticing, so is this a rebranded older model then? Or is this... Uh, yes, know? these are all older models. These are all models that you could already buy. Okay, so... because uh, then, you know, if you look at the skirt, they already had their own chainmail. And I just oh, never realized yeah, that. Yeah, but most draws didn't have that. Like, if we go to the next ones, they clearly had more yeah. normal chainmail. So these are um, just not regular warriors with shield and axes then? Yeah. Yeah, the shields are looking smaller than usual, or is that because your models are no, older? No, that's, that's just that's just how I think that's how they always were. It okay. kind of depends on the angle you look at them, right? Okay, fair enough. But the shields always look like that. Um, right, the good old Quarrelers, the good old Thunderers, yeah. the good old normal Dwarf Warriors. I like I'm the... kind of excited about the prospects of apparently being able to buy 20 Hammerers at yeah. once. Like, the, that's what I was uh, thinking as well, because like the sizes of these, uh, like the way they are presenting them, it's already very satisfying to um, yeah. have a look at that. So, 
I'm interested how the point system will work. Oh, oh. Huh? What? If you look at the banner of the quarrelers, the hammer up top. I think oh, yeah. uh, someone bent the shaft of the <laughs> of the hammer a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think we'd notice, but we did. <laughs> That's 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 a shame. Isn't it? <laughs> or maybe it's more like that. Let's hope someone bent it. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I think these pictures they're showing of a Quarrelers and Thunderers are like ten years old. Nah, I think they. I think these did are them, old no? pictures. Because if I look at the Rune Priest, this is not the level of painting um, people had. No, this back this then. is one hundred percent. If I open up my army book of dwarves, I think I can find that exact picture of a Rune Priest. Really? Yes. Yep. I found it. It's yeah. It's the same one. No. Wait. The gem on his helmet is a different color, but everything else is the same. <laughs> oh shit. Huh? Oh. Oh yeah. Now I think they redid it. I I think they repainted him. No, this is a different one. You. Um... Yeah. So like the the if you look at the yeah. stream the the picture I've uh... yeah. yeah that's the one I'm looking at and yeah. it's I think it's the same one but for some reason the gemstones are different colors. What? But the armor is also different as well, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, the armor has a red tint in the picture I'm looking at. They're so similar, but there's just all right. This is kind of freaking me out. Yeah, because because again, uh, this is the level of painting I'd expect from you know fantasy. True. And uh, if you look here, it's like the glazes are smoother, the 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 uh, highlights are in, in two colors, even like these minuscule ones. Huh. So that's where I was like, okay, this has to be like a newer paint job. I mean, okay, I guess. <laughs> look at me being a smart ass again. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, the 20 hammers do look menacing. Holy shit. 20 hammers. Yeah, God I know, damn. right? I you was like, I was still stuck at the Iron Drakes, but yeah. Ooh. Good. I wonder how expensive the hammers are gonna be. Uh, if it's 20 in one unit, then it's probably... 40 euros? That would be really, really good. I think it would be... I think right it now it's 40 euros for, I think, 10 of them. So I, I think be... it'll be, I think it'll be like uh, 50 bucks on um, Games Workshop and like 40 on Kotami, right? That... I think it's gonna be 80 on Games Workshop. Oh, hang on, they are elite units, aren't they? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well... Which would be a shame. It's yes, a we'll shame, see. but... Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I just went, continued on, and I'm seeing models I've never seen before. Oh, what the fuck? What is happening here? Forge World Resin. Like, old, old Forge World. Bruh. The comma Dwarf Command set. The Slayer of Legend looks so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> he is so done. And even he is wearing like gauntlets and a chainmail skirt. What the fuck? What's going on? I mean, with... Yeah, but, but, but gauntlets is different than wearing armor, right? Yeah, but he's wearing a chainmail skirt. They all need to wear pants, dude. No. Let them wear pants. I want to have their... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Ass is out for Slayer, then. <laughs> I like... These brought the whole... We need dwarf proportion, so don't give him any neck yeah. to the maximum. Like, yeah. wow, what yeah. is happening here? <laughs> they they did it right. I don't know, man. I like the banner, but everything else here is just very goofy. I like Especially how I like how the like these are obviously like melee fighters, and I love how they have like no reach. <laughs> like in a real life setting, they would get obliterated by anyone because any human guy with a pole arm will take these guys down. <laughs> what the fuck? Or they are just really good at throwing. <laughs> They're just really goddamn fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Oh, God, that would be terrifying. I mean, a nice comparison between you know, old and new resin, right? So now look at Ungrim mm. again, and yeah. try to say, oh, this guy looks like he could have been released two thousand and six. True. Apparently, yeah, I see it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like that, that's the, I like the banner, but it looks crusty. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crusty ass banner, yeah. It, it, it looks crusty as hell. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the Slayer like, also, like. 
these talismans, these golden little coins this, that are hanging from it, they, they look deep fried. This is the kind of resin that I had to deal with uh, when painting like the sergeant that I gifted JD for one of his birthdays. Oh. Yeah. And this is why I hate working with resins. These guys are the reason. Maybe maybe the newer ones are fine, but goddamn. This is fine cast, holy shit. Yeah, that's um okay, that one has a returning resin stamp, so my theory was wrong. Yeah. And but, oh <laughs> if we continue even for Metal Kids, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the fuck? They're bringing back the tin models, baby. No fucking way they don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, they're taking the piss now. I mean, I'm happy they brought so many miniatures back in, like, plastic and, like, a new dropping. <laughs> but Torek Iron Bro being st still being metal is so fucking funny. Oh what my god. What the fuck, dude? But, yeah, once again, mark another miniature that soon is not going to be 150 bucks on eBay anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's satisfying. Okay, this guy is fucking... <laughs> what is this, a runesmith? That is Torek Iron Ironbrow. Okay, this is Torek Ironbrow. What the fuck is going on? Metal? Uh, th this, this will weigh like a kilo. You, can, you could kill a person with that. Yeah, I know, right? It, it really puts down... I love, I love how like this is the rune um, anvil, so yeah. you can't move ever, and we decided to uh, symbolize like, it by the, the goddamn, the goddamn life. like oven will be in metal as well. <laughs> what <laughs> if if they don't bring back the steam tank in metal? I'll be pissed. I want to have my metal steam tank. <laughs> I don't care steam if it is. Have steam tanks ever been made of metal? Yeah, they have. I actually have, like, I had the chance to get a, a tin steam tank. You could huh. actually kill a person with that. What? Oh, that would be a funny, like, yep. true crime. Not true crime, what's it called? Krimi. Um, Who done it? Detective story, yeah. like, where one of the miniatures will murder them. What the fuck, dude? In no, guy, okay, I just painted this model with Blood for the Blood God. Oh, I, God, I continue further down to the Slayers. <laughs> Are you fucking joking? The one on the right is actually very <laughs> iconic. Like, I recognize that one immediately. Okay. But what the fuck are the ones to the left? They are not even orange. They're, 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 going, they're going full Kratos uh, with, like, the Blades of ha Hades. What <laughs> right. is going on? We were complaining about Reach and they heard us talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> they were all like, fuck you. <laughs> One this of the guys has like five inches of range <laughs> 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 to signal. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Why did they? Why did they nail their underwear to the pole of their banner? What the fuck? What? Oh. <laughs> Someone is drawing their <laughs> socks on the on the pole of the banner right there. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and why a piece of a beard? Isn't that like <laughs> transgression as hell? Heretic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's its own beard, and he's like taking revenge for that. I yeah. don't know. But like, what? what's up with the one to the left? He's like bald and doesn't even have orange hair. Why is the one guy completely encased in chains? Like, bruh, you are <laughs> telling me so these strange. guys, you are telling me these guys are not like wearing armor, and this guy's like, oh, okay, I'm technically not wearing armor. I've just <laughs> taken five meters of chains and slung them around my chest. You know what, this makes me think, dwarves mm. should totally get their own types of fanatics. Like, similar <laughs> to night goblins have fanatics, which just spin around, dwarves should just get these guys. <laughs> what is going on? I'm actually impressed by the level of detail they got to, uh, you know, these miniatures to have, like looking at the rings the guy on the right side is wearing. Yeah. But goddamn, if, if, if you go to, like, a British football game right now, you will see these people. Uh... What is going on? The, these layers That's are from the from early nineties. Um, yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. No way. Huh? What? Then where's the classic layers? Okay. As well as Slayer Command. Okay. Finally, there's a selection of Imperial Dwarves and their command, also from the early nineties. And Joseph Batman card. The Goblin Hewer? What? what? Further down? Should I scroll further down? Like the, te the text right below it. Like they don't show it, but are they gonna sell like models from the early 90s again just yeah, because like, we can 
you, you see this made to order in the low corner. Yeah. I want to see what's further down. What the fuck are they No, no, you, I already see it. And yeah, it's incredible. It's great. What the... <laughs> what are those? <laughs> These are like for OGs. <laughs> <laughs> this is as OG as it gets. How the this fuck do they OG still have the molds gets. for those? <laughs> These are the original, like... Where did they get the molds? Someone in Game of cleaned out the archives and found yeah. it and like lying behind the shelf. I was like, dang. The, Emma says, oh my god, they're tiny. Yeah, they're teeny. Yeah, they're so cute. What? They're great. They still have big bases, though. That's really funny. I love how, like, the, like as they said, Imperial Dwarves. I love the Imperial aesthetic on these dwarves. <laughs> like, they're wearing goddamn salads. These would be great for like an Age of Sigma army because they're just so out yeah. of nowhere. I love how they, they all have like uh, two pistols as well. Yeah. Like every every one of these has like two pistols on their belt. The salad. But yeah. I mean the salad it, makes sense for a dwarf and the one is like wearing like the one where it went up to what's his face? Marcus Wolfhart and stole his hat. <laughs> I like how the text like announces, yeah, you'll get the goblin hewer. Remember that model? Oh yeah, you'll get um five more dwarven legends from the early nineties. You will get every model that has ever been released for the dwarves yeah. apparently. Like yeah. they're just bringing back everything. They saw what they saw the kind of shit that got pulled on. E yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Wow. Are you alive? <coughs> wow. Okay. You're right. Uh, let's just move on. Yeah. Heinrich is literally dying to see his, uh, to see these new dwarves. <laughs> all right. So but that's <laughs> all. We went all the way back to the mid '90s, and that's where the dwarf uh, reveals end. Wow. Whoa. They, they. <laughs> Emma asks if you're okay, Heinrich. Are you good? <coughs> uh, <coughs> maybe. <coughs> okay, let's move on. Drama queen. My goodness, though. <coughs> They really brought back the whole dwarf roster. Okay. They they brought back everyone. That's hilarious. They did pull the super Holy smash. Holy shit! Yeah, they, they they really were like if they they pulled the Avengers assemble. Whoa. Yeah. Dude. What the fuck is this reveal? <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions! Like oh wow, they bring back Forge World resin and then fucking metal. Yeah. Yeah, this is metal. And they're already saying like how they um how they bring back the organ gun as well. Yeah, that's not I all mean, these. The organ gun... These regiments are joined by the Slayers of Legend, King on Oafstone, the Runesmith, Gyrocopter and Cannons, which also built which also built organ guns. I mean these aren't gyrocopters which also built organ guns? I, uh, and cannons. Oh, just normal cannons. All yeah. right, yeah, that does make sense. So I think I, mean, I think this already have been sold for Age of Sigma. So yeah, okay, that's unsurprising. Yeah, I'm more conf I'm more confused about the Goblin Hewer, which is a model so old and obscure that I literally didn't know it existed until pe until people were like, "Hey, maybe include this for the next Total War DLC." Jeez. And I was like, "What the fuck is the Goblin Hewer?" <laughs> I mean, these guys the are made... The is like, a, is like a catapult which fires axes, in case you're wondering. Okay. It's like an axe catapult. Huh. Uh, Google it, Google it. Just look at it. <clears throat> oh, because... fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's, um, that's the goblin hewer. So, if, are they really bringing this thing back? Because Is that a so... fact? Is that Slayer Artillery? It is Slayer Artillery, yeah. Whoa, that's fun. It, it is such an old and obscure thing, and if they are actually bringing it back, that would be so fucking weird. What? Like, I wouldn't, I don't know what, to, I wouldn't know what to say anymore. <laughs> Damn. Oh, these new fantasy, like these new um, old world armies are going to be wacky. Yeah, I know, right? The Tomb Kings in Bretonia didn't get anything as weird as the Dwarves. I yeah. Here. They're straight up pulling up with mid-90 models for to the function. Whoa. I'm starting to understand why the Orcs and Goblins didn't get like a special announcement, but the Dwarves do, because I don't think the Orcs... Let me look it up, actually. I want to see what announcements the Orcs got. 
The, the Inquisitor says angry ma uh, to the Orc hewer. It's an angry marine gun uh, 9000, but for dwarves, yeah. Um, that's that's the OG ch uh, chain axe right there. Yeah. Jeez. Metal kits, dude. Going against that thing in melee would be hilarious. <laughs> dude, if, if they don't get like a bonus to melee with that thing, I, I, they're doing it wrong. <clears throat> what is going on? Metal kits, though. What possessed the Games Workshop executives to bring these back in metal? I don't know. Someone has a someone has a thing for all dwarves. Yeah, the, the guy who went through the archives also found like the original like it buckets they used to hand, you know, make these tin models like, like in the opening of the Lord of the Rings where they make the rings like, <laughs> pouring the metal into the mold like that's going on right now at the new factory. Um, yeah. To make these miniatures, wow. <laughs> I mean, they like don't get me wrong. For metal, especially for metal models, these look sick. But the fact of like, the thought of buying a mi metal miniature in the year two thousand and twenty-four. I don't know, man. Oh yeah. Okay. Here I I went to the. Orc and Goblins page, where yeah. they announced the Orc and Goblin announcement and kind of interviewed that. <clears throat> and they directly say, like, um, the project lead is a real old hammer enthusiast, and he has a depth, of no a depth of knowledge of these older models, which he knows collectors have been coveting for so long. Being yeah. able to honor these long stay ending customers is quite a point of pride for him. What this sounds to me like is this guy actually just went on eBay. Yep. And looked up the prices of old models and was like, you know what, fuck these people. How about, we yeah, yeah, right. I, I highly respect that. And the fact that, yeah. the, you know, I think that's also like, um, you know, now that you say this, uh, that also would make sense to make these guys out of metal. So the resellers on eBay can't be like, oh, but ours one, ours is made from, you know, the original tin. I, so if you really I, want the original I, model... You have I to don't buy think from us. Reasoning. I think the reasoning is like he was presented with a choice. Either these are gonna be made of we don't have time to like make these out of resin or plastic. So either these are gonna be made of metal or we're just not gonna sell them. He was like, well, okay. Hang I'm just... on a second. I'm just realizing something. Huh? Scroll back to the rune lord. Scroll back to um the first, yeah. The uh, no not the rune lord, sorry, the guy with the anvil. What's his name again? Uh Torek. Torek, right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his guards. Do you yeah. notice anything about them? Um, not really, no. Behind the slits of their helmet, you can see the eyes of these miniatures. Oh, wow. These are made from metal. Yeah. Remember how we talked about the um, Bretonian Knights, the new ones? And we were like, wow, Games Workshop really stepped up their game with these new miniatures. You can really <laughs> see the eyes behind the helmet. Yeah. And these guys are like, Laughing in mid nineties, like like early two thousands. What? To be fair, what, how much of that is the modeling and how much of that is the paint job, right? The fact that <clears> they <throat> even have this, like, <laughs> what? But yeah, Thoric Eisenbra Ironbrow has uh, <gasps> don't doesn't have eyes in this. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? No, his eyes are just uh, his, his eyes are closed. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, like like his whole shtick is that he's really really old. So okay, um, but so, like you know, to, to just just to make my point, what is okay? Yeah. Wow. I think it's this this has to be like the only game structure miniature where you get a terrain piece with it, right? Yep. Who like, else gets the fucking furnace? Just. Sweet. As part of, of a miniature. The modeling of the furnace is also quite nice. I really like the dwarven face on it. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Damn. The dwarves were kind of a main attraction today, huh? How yeah. unexpected. Yeah. Who cares about Skaven, am I right? We got 90 Slayers. <laughs> dude, the Slayers are like... The... Like it got it got so wild in the end. We were like, "Wow, yeah. look at this new king uh, on on the shield bearers!" And then, "Wow, okay, nice. Now we can have, you know, all the old models again." And then we were like, mm -hmm. "Wow, these crusty ass resin models." 
And then it got to fucking metal kits from the mid 90s. <laughs> what? It's really, it is so funny. Wow. Okay. Now the entire rest of the Adepticon is ruined for us because what is gonna top this? Or what is even gonna be on par with this? Damn. Okay. Res mad respect to whoever's mm. in charge of re-releasing the old world. Yeah. <laughs> right, so... so in the end, uh, I, I find I find it hilarious when I went in this expecting to talk about Skaven and Stormcast for two hours. Yeah. We didn't get a single Stormcast, but we saw the most obscure dwarf shit. Yeah. I've ever seen. The, the Skaven got their own goddamn trailer, mm -hmm. and we haven't seen a single miniature. And the dwarves yeah. are just chilling and getting their <laughs> mid ninety. Uh, Imperial. That's right, but the Robs didn't even get like a. Oh no, they do get a video. It's seven minutes long. Oh my god, they show the Goblin Tour in the video. It really is coming back. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? Well, what the fuck? I wanna, wa I wanna watch the video now. I wanna see. What? Hey, go to 150. Just go to one. 150. 150. Oh, there it is! In, in, yeah. in the 40. What? Huh? Dude. I'm so glad. This is why I. It's literally Buckman. Yeah. Okay. They said this in the. Uh, Wait. Go to go to the twenty-seven second mark. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where I am right now. They, they what? Li they're bringing back Buckman. That's Joseph Buckman. That's Joseph Buckman. <laughs> what? They didn't even show him in the pictures. They they mentioned him in the text. That's what I read. This, this is why I don't like to watch the trailers, because shit like this is so much more funny when you find it out in, in real time. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so they now, so they brought back Buckman too. They didn't Whoa. even show that one. I mean, of course, he should be alive in the old world, right? Yeah, and now, yeah, yeah, he is alive, true. I didn't think he looked like that. I thought he Yo. looked like a ranger, not like a, you know. <laughs> this is, this is Tom Bombardier. Yeah, this is Tom, Tom Bombardier, Bombardier is joining I the fray. Didn't, didn't, I thought Buckman kind of looked like a badass, not like that, but hey. <laughs> He's back. Oh, wow. Go, go to the 33rd uh, second. That one. That's a guy you will find in Great Britain. Easily. Oh. <laughs> that is a football fan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me skip forward. Like, we see the Goblin Hero, we see Buckman, we see the image of the kind of Damn. Seeing okay. these old miniatures in like 4K is also so surreal. Batman is kind of the only re and the hero are only the, the kind of only the really weird miniatures we see here. Yeah. But like the fact that we see them. What, what is on earth on? is this? What is happening? Man, you gotta edit all the highlights of just us reacting to the dwarves into like a proper video because wow. Yeah. This is insane. A short won't cover all of this. <laughs> it's like I, I'd have to make like twenty shorts about the dwarfs if I li even tried <coughs> to make this like give this justice. Holy shit! Yeah. Whoa. This is insane. <laughs> all right, I think we should move on. We're, yeah. we're not even halfway through. That's all of the dwarfs. Like, dude. What a reveal, holy shit. Yeah. There's nothing left to talk about the dwarves. <laughs> but, but yeah, they really just gave us everything. Nice. Apparently. This is... Nice, I like this. <laughs> okay, and now we're uh, back to something that none of us play. Warhammer Underworld Death Gorge. Yeah, well, okay, give me a second. Hold on, hold yep. on. Zealots and Butchers. So we yeah. have a Dun of Deepkin against, I guess, Sludge. Oh, it's Underworld, so it's small warping bands again. Yeah. Very small bands. And we see... Ooh, shit, dang. What? Oh, That is a sick-ass miniature. What? Who, who is this dude? <laughs> Yo. It's two kids in a trench coat of a miniature. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Okay. What is going on with these guys, though? <laughs> I what don't are they doing? <laughs> are they trying to channel what lightning or something? Cooking? Hang on. I... Okay. They look like conspiracy theorists. Right? Literally. Like, as long as I wear this antenna, they can't track me. I love how I looked at these matches, asked if they were going to channel lightning or something, and they're yeah. literally called the Brethren oh, of the Bold. I nailed oh, right. it on the head. That's great Damn. miniature design. Wait, these aren't chaos worshippers? These are Sigmar people. Oh, what? I, th I thought they were chaos worshippers. No, they worship Sigmar and his aspect of lightning. Wow. Whoa, okay. What, what, is, what are the cities of Sigmar doing? <laughs> Yo. So these are, these are citizens. What of Sigma are Mars, these huh? Dark Souls ass motherfuckers doing? Dude, <laughs> what? I, I also was convinced that this was chaos. Yeah, I like saw the guy in the top left and was like, oh, he has like mutated, okay? No. Yeah, no, it's, it's literally. It's actually two kids in a trench coat. <laughs> or maybe he has like just. Is his helmet empty? I don't know what's happening there. Yeah. No, it's not. It can't be because no, yeah. No, it is two kids in a trench coat because the guy below doesn't have his arms sticking out, so he's just holding onto the guy who's sitting up top, uh, doing his shenanigans. That's the funniest fucking model I could have done. <laughs> I love how I talked about which model could possibly, uh, you know top the dwarves i think this is a strong contender this was such a funny adapting card like first we get oh look at our epic skaven trailer they don't announce a single skaven they were like hey guys look at our dwarves and the dwarves are like the funniest shit and now we get like <laughs> the, the children playing with toys in the garden and what? they're like i have lightning Ooh, yeah as yeah as I they, they literally <laughs> they don't even have proper weapons they're literally just yeah. getting out the the, the cow thingy uh, uh, from the <laughs> farmer's uh, father's backyard. It was just the fact that the tactic, the entire strategy is just to get repeatedly struck with lightning. <laughs> like, as long as these guys on the are on the battlefield, you'll see, like, lightning strike every yeah. two seconds. <laughs> I love how, like, thinking about, imagine if this guy, if these guys try to, like, play it stealthily. Like, alright, <laughs> I need to hide right now. And then a lightning bolt comes down, charging them up, but everybody knows where they are. Like... Oh, wait, wait, the description describes it. Um... Huh? Oh, no. Fanatical sect of okay. the Unbarogan. We talked about each felt something when they were scorched by the energy of a departing Stormcast Eternal. And I was like, that would be a sick rule. Imagine having these like on the battlefield and every time a Stormcast Eternal dies, they get a temporary power boost because they yeah. absorb the, uh, the lightning of a dying Stormcast. Of course, that doesn't make much sense because we aren't Stormcast. These are cities for Sigma. These models, guys right? are literally just trying to Kamehameha the energy of the Stormcast uh, yeah. <laughs> that they exude. There's turret bombing. Dude. Keep off Sigma, give me your energy. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> my guess is that the rules are that they are usually weak, like strength 2, but one for one round during the match, they can like channel lightning and that they have strength 5 or something. Possibly, right? yeah. Or that you have which, to like roll like um, uh, similar to the winds of magic. You have to roll like which how much energy do you ha you have, and then you have like um, you ooh, know. Ooh, that would be sick too. Yeah. It, I love it if we could actually straight up cast like Uranon's thunderbolt on them, and it would make them strong. Oh, that would be so fun! Yeah. <laughs> it would be so funny. We should games should bring back stupid ass tactics. <laughs> Damn. All right. Ima imagine like these guys, you, you deliberately well. cast, ca ca casting like a spell for Arcanium onto these people. Yeah. And they go nuts with it. Bruh. All right. I want these guys as my fanatics. Like, like uh, how the um, how the Empire used to have the um, how they oh, called true. the not 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 fanatics zealots. But zealots, right? So and these are like the Age of Sigma zealots. Nice. <laughs> Well, right, one guy is playing and... it safe, actually bringing a weapon, so and and yeah. armors, but uh, the others, yeah, they're they're strong in the faith. 
Wait, wait. Pater Felius rides into battle atop his son's scarred and bandaged shoulders. <laughs> this guy, th these aren't two kids in a, a trench coat. These are father and son. And the father is on top. <laughs> like, like, like the, the image of like a child riding piggyback on like the back of his, its father, but it's reversed. I also love just how serious the guy uh, like the sun looks. Yeah, this guy couldn't be more funny if he tried to be. This is the funniest Warhammer character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this this is something I would expect from the goblins, okay? Yeah, but no. yeah <laughs> precisely. So it turns out if you get fanatic enough, like smoke too much, uh, like ho uh, holy like um, incense, then this is what happens, right? Yeah. Average Catholic priest. Damn. Okay. Right. Wow. Good luck. Their opponents are very, in my opinion, normal ghouls. Yeah, like... you can't just bring these guys up first and then show just some random ass ghouls and... I mean, these are cool ghouls, yeah. I suppose. I like the one with wings. Yeah, they are very uh, neatly, but... like, sculpted. But that's about it, like, right? right? Ghouls are yeah. very basic. So, they are sweet. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a female ghoul, if this is a female Wait, ghoul. Where? Oh. Um, hard to say. But uh, I honestly just don't th I honestly think you can't just can't see the difference between male and female ghouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like uh, is the one on the bottom right a female ghoul? Who could tell? But uh Ugh. they're very neatly sculpted, but that's about it, yeah. Yeah. The the the, the goofy ass Imperials clearly stole their show. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> Couldn't have that in 40k. Like, imagine... Imagine the... the, the, the what's your army called again? <laughs> Astramid. <coughs> Astramid Astramidarum. Having people like these in the ranks. I imagine, like, <laughs> you, you have a Psyker who tries to channel, like, Smite or something. Yeah. And instead he just channels them through some sort of cultists or uh, criminals who act as like, uh, yeah, oh, just that would be cool, actually. Or like, give us a Savitor, but with a self-destruct function and make <laughs> them look like this. I'm imagining like somebody from the Ecclesiarchy doing this, but like trying to be serious and grimdark. I don't know what's a bigger plot twist, like the Dwarf Metal people coming back or these people not being chaos but like being yeah fucking cities of sigma <laughs> <laughs> this is a great adepticon i wished all of them were yeah. like this god damn like this is not a really impressive adepticon yeah. there's, there's not that many reveals but all reveals they show are extremely entertaining this is a very fun adepticon yeah yeah <laughs> all right the briar and bone hang on Right, it's Brian Wood Elf Warcry. Against Oh shit. That is cool actually. Hmm? Um So here's the thing. Usually I don't like the Ossiak bone reapers Ooh. that much because they don't like like they don't look like normal skeletons, right? Yeah. They look like weird goofy chat skeletons. But I feel like these Ossiak models lean into that in like a good way. Oh. They're like, yeah, they, these are not normal skeletons. These are weird, like, malformed yeah. skeletons. Look at him. He's a centaur. These are just straight up dogs made of, like, bone. <laughs> Armored dogs. <laughs> Armored dogs, yeah. They're, they're, more, they're very insectoid like, with, like, an exoskeleton. Yeah. These are a bit like Terranids, you're right. Yeah. Especially with the hat. Like, imagine, like, I can see a Terranid looking like that. Yeah. Like I think these Ossiac bone reapers Whoa, really. Whoa! The, the next them. ones, the next ones do look like Tyranids, like the winged oh, ones. Oh, you're right. What? Yo, these are straight up Tyranids. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think I really think like we, these they lean into the these are not normal skeletons. These are weird constructs. Yeah. And I like that. Damn, these guys I are not skipping leg day. If I had like this theming, then I would actually like Vossic Bone Reapers. I also like how they kind of like adapted the color scheme a little bit. Like they <laughs> went from, you know, 
the usual Ossiac bone reapers have like this very white kind of bone. And this is mm. more like, you know, classic bone color, if okay. that makes sense. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the Ossiacs usually look like. Mm. They're, it's more the white, you know, color scheme with green uh, accentuating it. So um, bone dogs and bone raptors are pretty cool. Yeah. And not bone raptors, what are they called? Bone harpies, I suppose. I, I kind of like how uh, we talked about, you know, when the Skaven came and we read about the horned rat being yeah. the the new the fifth chaos god, and you immediately said like this, th you know, nice. Well, now we have deconfirmation that Age of Sigma is not part of the Warhammer universe, so that fan yeah. theory can be put to rest. I and mean, now we've got literally like, like Turnits. Yeah. Then then they brought back <laughs> the Turnits for the Ossic brain Bone Reapers. True. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. All right, and then they're... Oh my god, the wood elves are... Whoa. Whoa, they're bringing the bees. Yeah, that's that's a lot of... How <laughs> this, would you person, this? this person uh, watched uh, how we played Terraria and was like, Oh, that's actually very smart, yeah. <laughs> how do you paint this model? Oh my god. Yeah, there's no dry brushing this miniature. Yeah, you have to, like, detail every single one of these bees, oh right? Oh god. You can't even assemble Ooh. it. Trying to maneuver with your brush through like the arm and the swarm of bees to get the backside would be a nightmare. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a... Dude. Like, if you had to rank difficulty of painting from models, oh. where would you rank this model? Dude, the Silver Nef always rank very high in terms of difficulty of painting. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's no way <laughs> to really speed paint Silver Nef. Huh. Like, Sylvanef are not a beginner-friendly army. Like, maybe, like, the the guys on the next slide, maybe. But even then, because you have to kind of use so many different colors. Yeah. And they're always so intricately modeled. Damn, look at the sword! What effect they painted on the sword! Jesus Christ! Oh, you're right. They're like, X's and... Oh. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so these are, like, damn. Yeah, I could not... I could not think of a way to speed paint these guys. Yeah, this would these make are really... like the paint shop is more impressive than the miniatures here. Like I really like the B one. The B one is yeah. great, but boah, without the paint shop, like I feel like painting these would be a nightmare. Oh god, this one silver nef uh, on the third slide with the spear um, and shield, spear and shield. Yeah, he has like these stone um, mushrooms growing on his face. What? Oh yeah. Damn. And once again, they have put like the little star effect on the weapons. Yeah, on everything. Nice. Dude. Yeah, these must be a nightmare to paint, but they look really good. They look, they look, really, they look really good. very good, yeah. Whoa. Like, whoever painted these really put their all into it. You oh yeah, tell. definitely. Jesus. So much glazing, holy shit. Yeah. Well, you mean like us? Are we glazing the... Painter, right now, or <laughs> I, I knew you were going to make you were going to say that. <laughs> Damn, yeah, very <laughs> intricately modeled again, huh? All right, let, let's look at the last few models first. Like the dryads, they're great too. They, the paint job is awesome, like, yeah, right. But then I scroll down and I see the goofiest thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's the boy. It's the Triusi. <laughs> what the <guy? laughs> What? Oh, okay. <coughs> you get a ravening gnarl oak. A, a ravening gnarl gnarl oak. Yeah. This carnivorous tree has long since abandoned subtlety in its eagerness to feast on flesh. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Roaming around the gnarl wood on powerful gnarled limbs. <laughs> Are they trying to fuck with me? I'm I'm not an English native speaker. <laughs> Gnarl, <laughs> gnarly, a very gnarly model. Yeah. Cheesh. <laughs> what? I like how someone essentially took a flesh-eating tree and decided, let's put a platform on it. <laughs> yeah, and the placement of the platform, like, how is this thing yeah. going to eat anything? <laughs> 
This is like you, you know these also colors. Like who, you, you know these the right mind would stand on that platform. <laughs> you know these colors you put on dogs to, when you try to get them to not lick themselves. That is this platform. <laughs> bad plan, bad plan. Yeah, but once again, who would who in the right mind would stand on that platform knowing? Dude. If this thing leans back just a bit, you fall into its mouth. <laughs> is it shown on the uh, on the? Uh... No. Oh, no, it is. It is in the in the yeah. picture, in oh, the yeah. cinematic picture. I call it yeah, in the, the background. background. Yeah. So the lady with the bees is standing on it. Okay. Damn, dude. What is going on? It it really is. Oh my god. Wow. I really, really like the Sylvaneuf here. Like, wow, yeah. these are wood elves at their perfection. Like, oof. But, um, yeah. Varsiaks are okay too. Yeah, I like, I really like both of them. Like, the Osiaks are, um, are like very neat. And, you know, the Tyranid kind of theming they got going on is sweet. And the yeah. Sylvaneuf are just get, getting carried hard by once their paint job and, like, the. Lot of little, little buttload of details um, the sculptors put into them, right? Like the attention to detail with these is insane. All right. Whew. Chaos Space Marines. Oh wow. HP. Okay. Now it's actually getting difficult for these guys to carry uh, the same yeah. kind of depth. Honestly, these Chaos Space Marines are just very normal yeah hmm. it's kind of like um the uh, like um dark oath who got revered today um yeah. they're just you know they're neat but again not jaw dropping that's a yeah it's like a normal chaos space marine model like yeah. if you told me this one has uh, oh. already existed i would believe you oh this one is cool i suppose the <clears throat> uh, the one below like the other option i guess um oh. So you're getting, oh. you're really getting a huge variety here. Huh? All right, never mind. The amount of options yeah. changes my opinion about that because, dang, the fact that we, yeah, no, okay, this that's a huge variety. I take it back. This yeah. is a sick model. Damn. The um. Okay. Like this is this is not a model that looks super great on itself, but the fact that you can just customize it to hell and back it makes it. Yeah. Really, really I also really like that they, you know, for the, you know, poster boy, they chose the Black Legion color scheme, but for the mm -hmm. options, they chose uh, more the Alpha Legion style. Uh, great, Ooh. nice. Good to see. Hmm? And then I go one more down, one down, and ooh, yeah. ooh. That, no, that's what I want to see. That's yeah. a cool model from Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, he's looking a little bit more old school, isn't he? Yeah, but I like the way he's not actually, like, on the base. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a he nightmare. He just Goomba stormed the Space Marine to death, and now he's jumping back yep. again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, apart from the base effect, yeah, he's pretty normal again. Interesting. But hang on, scroll oh. further down. Oh. oh, he also has all kinds of options. Ooh, Damn. Okay. that's let's go, Night Lord representation. Yeah. That's the first Night Lord that doesn't look ridiculous with the uh, lightning on his armor. Thank you. Right. I think, yeah. A little more subtle. Thank you, whoever painted this True, one. True, it's more subtle. Like, if you paint it like that, it looks good. But if you paint like actual lightning, yeah. it's a bit stupid. Damn. Okay, I feel like these miniatures aren't anything special until you see just how much variety they can get. Yeah, and then they're just talking about new spearhead options. So, um, yeah, Veterans okay. of the Long War and Dread Talents. Okay. Hold on, what's in Veterans of the Long War? Um... Uh, ah, these are the new possessed, right? Yeah, yeah, the new possessed uh, terminators, some regular dudes, and a command thing. And the dread talents are cultists. The demagogue, no, not not demagogue. How are these fucked up looking guys called again? Um, the demagogue. No, 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 no. Um, the demagogue is um the weird guy that you painted. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's also there. In the oh, really? Left, to the left. In the Dread Talents. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the guys um, in the, the right. The torments, maybe. Oh, the torments, right? Yeah. Damn. Sick models. On 
the, the Dreadhounds could actually be worth it for me to get because yeah. I don't have any of these. But, you know, I still have so many Chaos Space Marines, which I never painted. Also, like... And with, I'm not really into Chaos Space Marines. Like, much, with the so. Prince in there and the Torments, I feel like this one... I'm interested what the price is going to be for the Dread Talents because um, if they were to charge like 200 bucks for that, I would almost say, okay, that's expected. Because the Torments yeah. and the Prince alone should be like around 100 bucks, right? I'm I think it's a battle force, so I'm expecting 180. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, we've been streaming for... Oh, one and a half hours only. Yeah. Fuck more. We we still have one it hour. It feels like so much more. We saw so much already. Yeah, we're we're really we're kind of, we're kind of quick with it actually, which is good I think because we don't have to pull on our hair to, to try and talk usually, about these. Usually we like spend an hour at the end just showing off tier lists. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So fair. So yeah, these scales. Uh, all in all, these scale space marines are neat. Um, and yeah. the fact that they have so many options actually makes them kind of good. Like, very good, they're actually. Very, yeah, they're very valuable, I'd say. Yeah. Um, last team. proper review for today, I think. I think we are still missing the heresy. Or is heresy? Well, the heresy one just says question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. So I do not expect them to Oh, hey it. man, it's more dwarves. Oh, well, yeah. Wait, it's Gene Stealer Cultist against Votan. Oh, that's actually... That's, That's actually... like my favorites. <laughs> and these are proper Vogtan. Like, these are the kind of bikers Ooh. we wanted to see. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think I know what I want for, for my birthday. <laughs> because Dude. this box set has everything I want. I, I'll, yeah. Damn. What the hell? These Vogtan look sick. But here's the thing. I... These Votan could almost be used for Age of Sigma <laughs> if you like gave him slightly different weapons. I think it's. But yeah, these are cool dwarves, man. And look, mm. every goddamn male dwarf has a proper beard. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Damn. <laughs> um, see the. F I, I love the female dwarf. The, the, the one with the two knives. On the page with a sniper rifle and the one with a crossbow. Yeah. Like the way she walks. It's just so goofy. <laughs> oh, god that Yeah. She, it looks a bit like a South Park character. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this woman's come has come to spank your ass oh, with a Barak Var handshake. Jesus. Yeah, these, these dwarves also want, again, one thing I really, really, I find, one thing I find really well executed by the leaks of Votan yeah. is you can't tell which characters are robots and which aren't because, yep. you know, you see the robot dwarf, and you know it's a robot dwarf because he has the helmet. Yeah. But it just is like, it's just as likely that, you know, maybe he's just a dwarf wearing a helmet, right? Yep. Who knows? Like, if I was an Imperial, I wouldn't know that that's a robot. Mm hmm So well done. I really like this skill team. Uh, Holy shit, I love the trench coats. Yeah. Like, this is a proper expeditionary fleet. Like, a proper expeditionary uh, squadron. That's that's true, and they work really well with the bikes too. Yeah, These yeah, are, that's the thing. When they when they showed the first um, uh, the first Votan ever, like the guy on the bike, and we were like, God damn, these guys look cool. Like we love the biker aesthetic, we love the like, faring folk. Um, and then they showed like the regular Votan really didn't do it for me that much, especially their vehicles. But yeah. these voting, yeah, hell yeah. No, I also like the vehicles a lot. Um, I I don't know. I um, that's a I think, big letter as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to like look at them a bit more because these are a lot of miniatures, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go through them. There's not a single one I don't like. Let's go for them uh, through them from the first page on. So the guy yeah, was with mine. The the first page is the four guys. So ah, yeah. the one on the left <clears throat> has like the the mines right. or demolition. What is the guy on the top left carrying? Uh, I think that's the demo man. So he has like oh. some mines and explosives and a tool for. Hey. So this is the pioneer. Do, do all kill teams have a demo man? Uh yeah, the um the um what's his face? Uh the Kriegsmen have them, for example. Yeah, the Kriegsmen have one. I know the orcs have one. Yeah, I think. Um, the yeah. Gene Stealer have a Reductus Saboteur, but I'm not sure if he's like. In the kill team. 
So, Alright, and also, what kind of gun is that on the bottom right? I think that might be the medic. So, uh... The bottom right is the medic? I think so. Oh. Wouldn't nah, it has a skull. The bottom has a skull on it. <laughs> to really precisely gun the needle down into yeah. your... Uh... <laughs> but yeah, okay, fair enough. Damn. Um, really, like, the coat design, goddamn. Yeah, the coats are so cool. And you could, like, paint something on the back, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, the shoulders already have, like, their emblem on it, which is really nice. I, can't, I kind of want to paint the, like, Attack on Titan logo onto the back. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> like, like a dwarfized, a dwarfized version of the Wings of Freedom would be sick. That, that would be cool. When Chris just said, I like trench coats, when we talked about the, the lightning guy. Yeah. And man. Now he's missing out. I hope he's still around. No, I don't think he is. Yeah, my. Yeah. I think we're alone right now, which is fine. Which but is fine. Hey. Damn. Okay, next page. <clears throat> the lady with the sn uh, yeah. the guy with the sniper rifle, whatever. Pretty standard sniper. Um, I like the I like the coat a lot, like the um the cloak. Person. Mm -hmm. How warm does it have to be under <clears throat> that? Like all that leather. All that true. gear and then the cloak over that as well with a yeah, fur he, collar. This would have to be like on a desert planet, uh, not a desert, uh, <laughs> ice planet, right? I guess like in a space <clears throat> hulk, you know, drifting in space, that makes sense. I, yeah. I, I think it's funny how they still use crossbows for yeah. some reason. Yeah. And an axe, like the guy on the bottom left <laughs> has, a medieval, yeah. has a medieval axe and there's a crossbow. What yeah. is he doing? <laughs> That's why he looks so pissed, because he only has, like, yeah. the bad gear. But he has the night vision goggles. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Because the crossbow mm -hmm. is silent, so... Ooh, uh, this, is this guy, and yeah. Also, all the energy blades have, like, a blue glow, so they glow in the dark. Yeah. An axe is just an axe. You can hit people with it in the dark. Yeah. He's the stealthy guy. He is the stealthy guy. It's a funny idea. Yeah. Still forget. Remember how we talked about the uh, guys, uh, the resin dwarfs, and we said, wow, they have no reach, but imagine them really, really fast. Yeah. Like, if That's this him. guy stormed at you, like, if you just saw the silhouette of this guy storming at you in, in like, a, a, a small, dark corridor, I would be terrified. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, we have... So, one of the... The guy in the top right... What's up with his eyes? I love the gunslinger. Yeah, what is up with this guy? Yeah. Is he a psyker? <laughs> Do they have psychers? <laughs> he is might he be out of magic, eye? but he is never out of options. God is, damn. He, is he like? Is he like? Is he losing out like the McCree old right now? He's oh. using dead eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He also has like um, revolvers. These are oh, all of them are revolvers actually. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Interesting. Of course, we have the bottom one, which is the robot, which is really cool, and the one on the left, which is just the melee brawler. Yeah. Also cool. I love the subtle glow effect that they gave everything as well. Very neat. Yeah. Like the subtle yellow on the trench coat. Nice. Oh, so good. So good. Such a great kill team. I love them. Yeah. I really do love them. And it makes so much sense for them, like, for a Votin kill team to exist. Like, just some guys, you know, scouting around an expeditionary squad. Yeah. But that's... Okay, the Gene Stealers. Um, yeah. The Gene Stealers are very normal compared to the Dwarves, I'd say. Yeah, but... Like, these are pretty standard modes. Yeah, I lo I, these are... Um, you know, I'm I'm always a sucker for like traitor guard and stuff. So Ooh, um, yeah, they do look like Astra Militarum models. Yeah, that's what I first thought. I was like, why is the Astra Militarum fighting SWATs? But no, oh. it's actually very sneaky gene stealers. True. And of course, since they are Astra Militarum models, they also have better training, I guess. Yeah. Which is why they don't come in with like mining gear. No, they come with actually like a medic, a sniper, a shotgun. Kind of weird dude. that they still have a guy oh. with a standard, like a, a banner kind of stuff. Oh, okay, I bet it's... Uh, Maybe that's like a psychic focus or something. I think Gene Stealers just like their... Yeah. 
the banners. Ooh, the medic. <laughs> I mean, they sick. are revolutionaries, right? Yeah. And every revolutionary needs like a symbol. Ooh, they look great. Mm. I really like the medic. Yeah. Damn. And the uh, the other one, the on the right at that page, like the guy with the extra arm, the extra claw. Yeah. Hell yeah. I wonder if all of these were like wore like full covered helmets, right? Mm. That you couldn't see their faces. Yep. Could a normal player still like tell that these are gene stealers? I think from the from the one on the first slide, like the two left, uh, on the left. I mm. highly doubt that they that like I, I again I couldn't tell like if the guy if oh. that guy on the left corner just came up to me I couldn't tell. Nice. I mean that's cool, isn't hey, it? Hey, go for a painting is here saying hello. Hi, man. Hello. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, gene stealers not as cool as the squads, but still gene stealers. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. They don't have that's that cool. much variety going on. This is definitely more just like. This could also be like a regular squad for the turn. It's like the new Brood Brothers, or how they're called. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I think it's interesting how the squads have already get gotten like two different kinds of kill teams. Yeah. Or maybe even three. Like the, the squads get a lot of kill team love. Oh, what's going on in the bottom? If they scroll further down. I mean, that's just. Yeah, those are just regular models, aren't they? Right. No. Yeah, are, oh, no. Um, I think... Yeah, these are just the um, Brute Coven. Yeah. But I don't think they're gonna be in this box. That would be weird. Yeah, that would be weird. Oh! Hang on. It's not uncommon to see superiors from their Brute Coven joining the fight personally, up to uh, and including the Patriarch themselves should a mission be deemed sufficiently important. So I guess right. if you're playing kill team, that means there are there will be rules for a kill team oh. patriarch. Oh, or that's like, actually really strong. <laughs> that's... damn, yeah. Okay. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> like, the Cadians all the, only have the Kazarkin that they can send. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, remember the one thing that I told you about, that technically speaking you could uh, instead of just bringing your, like your regular kill team, you could also just bring a regular Lehman Russ in terms of <laughs> points. True. <laughs> the Patriot versus Lehman Russ. <laughs> Let's go in kill team, bro. Okay. Okay. So final terrain. Two yeah. Reveals. I'm a bit down for some reason. I mean, we've been at this for a long time. So Horus Heresy. Yeah. No. I'm probably also a bit sick. Just... Well, yeah. Well, plenty of Warhammer games have had new miniatures, books, and rules shown off today. Our missives for the Dark uh, Age of Darkness have been mysteriously sparse. In fact, ah. all we've managed to uncover from the ancient vaults is this cryptic video. Okay. Let me. So Morty. Yeah. Okay, it's a planet. Ah. Okay. Hang on, I'm not watching it yet. I mean, it, it's very obvious <laughs> what it's gonna be. I have no idea. Hang on. Oh. What? Yeah. Hmm. I, I wonder what it could be. Oh, eh? okay, I get it. Yeah. It's 30k mechanicus. That's... Yeah. I, I don't think it's 30k mechanicus. It, it is... Uh, I think it's uh, Dark Mechanicum. What? Yeah. That's what I think. Why? Because the Dark Mechanicum won the war on Mars in the Horus Heresy. Yeah. And, oh. like, the symbol, this is not the symbol that, like, the nice Mechanicum has. Oh, my, okay, here's my theory then would be that it's both. Right? Similar to I how mean, the generic 30k Space Marine can both be good and evil. Yeah. Like, but, uh, this is gonna be both uh, both loyalist uh, mechanicus yeah, and traitor mechanicus. But we this means that we are going to get finally dark mechanicum mi miniatures. Huh. I don't know, are we? Like, yeah. I wouldn't call the thirty k space marines that belong to like horrors chaos space marines, right? Yeah, but they are just normal space marines, okay, but with like enough. turquoise uh, color finish. And so I'm gonna get yeah. the guess that the traitor mechanicus people are also not gonna be chaos mechanicus. But the the thing is that um, like the dark mechanicus in terms of you know what they do and how they work, they are 
like drastically different from the regular Mechanicum, mm-hmm. uh, from the regular Mechanicus. So I think what might happen is that we get upgrade kits for Mechanicus mm-hmm. forces, which will have like a dark Mechanicum twist on them. That would be cool, yeah. Because again, the symbol is uh, very much different from the. I mean, yeah, the skull is very funky looking. <laughs> yeah. So interesting. But yeah, my guess, my okay, my guess it's it's gonna be just normal thirty mecha- k Mechanicus people or vehicles but you can also like paint them to be dark mechanicum no i think it's going to be more i think it's we're going to get some proper dark mechanical <clears throat> miniatures because they have been out of the picture for like ever like we've never seen yeah. any actual dark mechanicus priests on the field not as far as i know um so i think they there will be finally some like dark mechanicus guys dark mechanicum that would be cool some heretics Especially like considering, you know, how the infantry works for regular Mechanicum. Like the regular Mechanicum has their Skitari. Yeah. But uh, the oh, Dark Mechanicum... Oh, and use something different. Yeah. I, I'm not even sure if they, like, use Skitari, uh, like, something of that sort. But, like, the way the regular Mechanicum do- creates their Skitari is, you know, brutal, of course. But, um... At the same time, not as bad. Whether I think that the Dark Mechanicus might just slap some stuff into your brain and call it mission accomplished uh-huh. and then just let you corrupt and rot. So, yeah. I think there's going, we're going to see some interesting miniatures. Yeah. Okay. But, Horus Heresy done. Dark uh, Mechanicus yeah, confirmed. And Necromunda. Yeah. Uh, also. Oh, we're going to get. That's just another teaser. What are they teasing? Um, I think it's isn't it? This escape. looks like Dark Horse, right? This looks like oh, hang on. Yeah, the hallway again. Is that all? Yeah, that is all. Join um, join the expedition. To me, this looks like Dark Elves for some reason, but I'm not sure. Um, let me see. It's Necromander. Necromander honestly could be anything. Necromander yeah. models sometimes look really weird. Oh, you can kind of see the miniatures. It's not just like cutouts. Yeah. You can see the silhouettes. Is that an orc face? Okay. Like the very, like on the far right, the second guy. He has like the, an orc mask, or am I reading into that too much? I don't. I don't see it. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I am reading too much into that. Yeah, it could be very well, Dark Elves. I mean, the guy on the far left looks like an Adeptus Mechanicus person. Yeah. Could um, be funny if that's also like Dark Mechanicum. Now, I, here's what my my guess is this, that this is gonna be like, kind of like the Cursed City main cast, just a group of adventurers. Yeah. Who are all different races, all from different factions, but they are working together. But evil. Would, be my guess. I don't know if evil. I think it would make kind of sense at uh, the same time. It's, it's Necromunda. They are all rogues. They're all like independent. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know enough about Necromunda to say anything more. Same. I have no idea about the different clans. The only thing that I know is that at the heart of Necromunda, there's a probably a somewhat functioning STC. Okay. Which is why some of one of the faction factions is actually highly technologically advanced oh. but they're suffering like radiation poisoning because again it's a, only a somewhat functioning SEC. okay okay so those That's were right. the last two reveals god damn oh. i'm worn out oh, that was yeah, a lot of too, things like... to get excited about how was how was it that the dwarf reveals overtook everything? Yeah. Like not only not only the old world dwarves, but also the squats yep. somehow dominated this. Um Boy, <laughs> this is an unexpected preview. I expected it to be all about the new Age of Sigma edition, and instead we didn't really get any of that. Huh. Yeah, this is um, a very interesting. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say as my like final words. It's uh, nice. It's uh, 
I, I still think it's very funny how we got this like whole ass trailer about the um about how you know the age of sigma reincarnation and the reappearance of the skaven and the horned rat like ascended into the pantheon of gods yeah and then we didn't get a single skaven model instead we got literally every single dwarf model there is on this earth it is really strange <laughs> it, it is it is strange yes um this was such a dwarf adapticon and i do not know why <laughs> why dwarves but i'm not complaining at all no. besides so much they announced today was just so fucking funny yeah like oh my god we got some really amazing matches today I, I really think that you just have to you, you really have to make a video of this because god dang like what is what is even happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Unfortunately, I'll be away from Saturday on for a week. Ah, oh, so, so you have to edit today. I have oh. to edit today, but I also have like character design tomorrow to, to be finished. Uh, okay, so probably not. Relatively unfortunate. I will try. I, I'll see what I can do. Um, I think if I just have to edit stuff together, it's way less like way mm. less of a headache. But um, yeah. <sighs> Whew. What an Adepticon, jeez. Yeah, I, I was, I was, uh, you know, like thinking, oh gosh, can I even stay awake through all of this? Because I was like really done when we started already. <laughs> and uh, then it got like crazier and crazier from one reveal to the next. <laughs> the fucking Goblin Hero and Joseph Butler reveal. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was not prepared for the Goblin Hewer and Joseph fucking Bugman. No. Uh, Dude. And from uh, Metal but... as well. Are you kidding me? We are getting some 2024 tin models. Whew. Alright. Mm. You know what? I think um, this sums it up nicely. Yeah, you you can you can tell how much this wars out. Yeah. Like, boy, we're more done than usual. Dude. I think. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I think um, with this we can successfully conclude the Adepticon of twenty twenty four. I hope yeah. we we will still get some sort of Warhammer Fest reveals and releases. If not, I mean the Adepticon. This Adepticon really makes it up for the Warhammer Fest. If you see this, <sighs> then thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, if if you get to this part, either in the VOD or in the video that I'ma try to edit tonight. Yeah. Um. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who showed up during the stream. And uh, yeah, have fun painting and uh, have fun, you know, talk, discussing the new reveals and uh, everything. I think uh, for last we can, you know, quickly say what's what was your favorite today? If there is, can My you pick a favorite? favorite? Like when it comes to miniatures, um, Already did the, whole the Dwarf outro. King is really good. The Scots are really good. Yeah. And... The bee woman is also really good. It's, it has to be one of those three, right? Yeah. So the um... I'm gonna say since I'm not an elf person, I'm a dwarf person. I'm not gonna pick the bee person, the bee woman. Yeah. And I'm gonna pick the boy. I think I'm guessing the dwarf king on sheep barrows, but it's a close one. Yeah. So for me, kind of same. I think as funny as he is, part of Helios, uh, you know. <laughs> Isn't that big of a deal? Sorry. Same for Warcry. Yeah, when it comes to entertainment value, it yeah. absolutely is like Paterfilios followed up by like all the, 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 the metal slayers with chain axes. Yeah. Like that was like... It's very hard to pick because like... Technically speaking, I would actually say the kill team was one of the coolest uh, things to be revealed. Because that's like 10 extremely nice miniatures summed up into one, like, purchase. Yeah. Um, but the dwarf reveal as, like, a whole chapter really knocked it out of the park. Holy shit. I know. We got, like, the newest models of the range with cutting-edge technology, literally. 
then we got like, oh yeah, okay, all the miniatures that you expect are there, but there will also be some made of metal, and I'm like, what the fuck, okay. <laughs> and then the very last thing, oh yeah, you will get the goblin hewer and fucking imperial dwarves made from tin, made to order. Like, excuse me? Like, yeah. I'm exhausted, yeah. dude. <laughs> That was, that was that was just actually insane. Like, <sighs> damn, so much to talk about, and f like not even so much that we had to like. We did not run out of stuff to say about these matches. There was something yeah. cool about every and single. We didn't one of these even videos. show Age of Sigma. Yeah. Like what the hell? I just realized we didn't get a single Age of Sigma review. No, actually, I mean, we did. Like, yeah. One Chaos Lord. We we got the Dark Oath person, but. Yeah. So, so, see what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh, we got this whole huge ass trailer. Then not a single new storm, like not a single new stormcast, <laughs> not a single scaven. Like not that I'm complaining about new stormcasts. Okay, let me be very clear. We have a yeah. good range of stormcasts already, but a whole ass trailer featuring them and some scaven, and we don't get either of them of them. And instead, we get like a chaos lord who is like, don't get me wrong, very nice, but as I said, like <laughs> nothing. Too impressive. Yeah. And what a what a twist. This, yeah. this, uh, this presentation had a bunch of plot twists going on. Yeah. Incredible. Like this is one of the best like planned and constructed Adepticons of all time. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Like they, they re Ooh. like usually it's like, okay, we'll show the coolest thing first. And the mm -hmm. rest is like throwaway stuff. Like, remember the wall Adepticon where we literally didn't have anything to talk about except the dwarf? Yeah. Uh, and this time it's like, okay. <laughs> Everything is insane. <laughs> yeah. Everything. They went overboard for no reason when yeah. it came to, like, range. Alright. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye for today. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna say goodbye too. Have a nice evening, yeah. lads. Have fun painting. Have fun with the new reveals. Nice. And I'll see you in the next video. The next proper one coming out in sometime soon. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya.